hello students in the previous video we have discussed about the properties of geometric progression and in this video we are going to discuss about the geometric mean between two terms when there are three terms in gp then the middle term will be the geometric mean between the other two so if suppose a comma b comma c are in gp then the middle term is b so b will be the geometric mean between the first and the last term which is a and c and the relation between a comma b comma c will be that b square equal to a into c now let's take a simple geometry progression with three terms such that the first term equal to a and common ratio equal to r then the geometry progression will be a comma a into r comma a into r square so from this we can tell that the first term is a only but the second term is b which is equal to a into r and the third term equal to a r square now when we take the product of the first and the last term which is a and c then the product will be a into c that is equal to a into a r square now this can be written as a square into r square now using the property of exponents which is x power a into y power a is equal to x into y whole power a so using this property we can tell that this will become a into r whole square now we know that a into r is equal to b so this will become b square so that implies the product of the first and the last term is equal to b square now when we take square root on both sides we'll get that b is equal to under root of a into c so this means that the geometric mean between two terms will be equal to the square root of the product of those terms now let's try to find what is the geometric mean between 2 and 8 using this formula we can tell that the geometric mean should be equal to square root of their product that is under root of 2 into 8 so this will become square root of 2 into 8 is 16 and we know that square root of 16 is 4 so we can tell that 4 is the geometric mean between 2 and 8 and when we insert 4 between 2 and 8 it will become 2 comma 4 comma 8 which is a gp hope you understood well thank you